everybody, John Hampy, the Mass Hire IT department here in Metro North. Uh, today we're going to talk about the new WebEx license that we're we're going to use to provide virtual services to our customers, um, both the job seekers and uh, the employers who want to hire them. Um, this this license is va very versatile. Um, it provides a, a few things that you can do, and just remember one thing, you know, from this that you can't break the license. You can't break the service. You can have fun with it, play with it, um, use it. You know, create mock training sessions. Uh, the more you do that, the more you're going to learn, and the quicker you'll be up to speed on it. So. We'll come up here we're just gonna show you what we have here so um, we're signed in uh, with our license and some of the options we have are webex meetings webex webex events um, and webex training so we're gonna go with webex training for now because that's kind of the direction we're going in all right so we're gonna come over here to schedule training And you can see here, this is all these fields here you're gonna fill in. Um, don't be, don't, don't panic. You know, this is actually, you don't have to use all these fields. Um, you can just use a few of them to get your meeting or your training up and running. And uh, I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing we're gonna do here, we're gonna come over to session and access information. So you have to choose a topic, you know, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna do a LinkedIn class? Or are you gonna do a career center? career center center seminar um, or you know or whatever kind of training and service that you're going to be providing so let's let's go ahead and we'll call it career center seminar all right and down below it it says set session password so you don't have to keep this password this is actually kind of complex but just so you know every time uh you go to schedule a training session um you can you'll get a new password the system will automatically generate a new password so you can make it whatever you want you know you know something maybe a little more user friendly uh but obviously not that simple uh, let's say mass higher 2020 okay and once you fill these fields in i should say this everything you're looking here is a template all right so when you fill all these fields in you're basically generating a, a template of how maybe you want to do it next time or you don't want to fill all the fields in over and over and over again so when you fill them in you come to the bottom we're just going to fast forward to the bottom here and where it says here it says save as template you can go ahead and you can click that and the next time you're ready to have another session we're over here where it says set options using template you come over here and choose one right one we've already created here is called mass hire but you know for the sake of uh this video we're just going to make sure we're doing it from scratch for you all right so um automatically delete session after it ends you can do that and it depends on the nature of the session are you having a live session where customers are you know their voices are being recorded um, are they uh, giving their first and last name where maybe they shouldn't be uh, over over uh, this live broadcast um, you can do that you can just you know keep this checked automatically delete session after it ends now also remember that with this software you can take a pre-recorded uh, career center seminar powerpoint with like you know you can actually record one record it as a session and then rebroadcast it live and then you know people can then um instead of having to do the entire session live uh with the powerpoint you can actually broadcast it live so it'll be you know broadcasting the former session and you can still um entertain questions from uh the attendees who are watching it live so there's different things that you can do with this software so what we can do here is uh you can send a copy of the of the attendee invitation to yourself um really don't want to do that and this session will have over 500 attendees so i don't think we're going to have that for a career summer seminar um audio conference settings 
the select conference type WebEx audio. So they have a few here. You got none. You got voice over internet protocol only or the WebEx audio. I would stay with the WebEx audio. Uh, mute attendees upon entry. I would say yes, that's a big yes. Um, and entry and exit tone. I think we're all familiar with that when people are coming and going from a virtual uh, video or audio conference. Uh, we have the beep, announce name, and no tone. So we'll just go no tone for right now. All right, so that took care of that. So look at that. We've already created the session, the access information, the audio conference settings, and now we're going to just go to the date and time. So let's say today is March 31st at 5.18 p.m. Let's make it for April 1st, 2020 at 10.15 a.m. in the morning. Okay. And the time zone, New York, Eastern Daylight Time. That should be there by default. And the occurrence. So we have a few options here. Single session class, reoccurring single session. If this is something that you think you'd be doing um, in multiple sessions, um, the, the same single session, but multiple times. But we're going to call it, make this a single session class. The estimated duration of this class, well, let's say over at the brick and mortar, um, anywhere from two and a half to three hours. So we'll just say three hours. So here under registration, uh, I think this is going to be up to each area to decide exactly how they want to engage the, the job seeker, what they want to impose on the job seeker in order to get through this process. Um, you can have them require to uh, the attendee, the job seeker to register. Um, and as you can see here, um, there's various um, fields that can be filled in. Um, you can even customize a form um, that even has a job seeker ID. Um, you know, the form would have their first name, last name, email address, and can even have them put in a job seeker ID. So um, doing this is just adding another layer uh, of, um, you know, kind of a virtual responsibility for the uh, job seeker who may already be struggling um with this process so we're not going to do that we're just going to uncheck here in metro north require attendee registration um and in lieu of this the, the one of the concerns was um the forwarding of these emails to uh people who are not you know from a job seeker to somebody else who you know to another person hey i have this uh this um this training do you and forwards it to them. Um, if you in, if you set it to invite to attendees only, it disables the registration, and only the people you invite will will get in. They're going to have those unique session IDs, and you can be sure that the people who are supposed to be attending the the seminar or the training, it's going to be that person, um, and it it prevents the forwarding of those emails. So. Um, so why don't we go ahead here and we're just going to put my name in, my name, and then we'll hit add attendee. And then at the top here, you can see my name, my email address. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and click that. And then, uh, oh, there we go. Sorry. Invite. Okay. So there's my name. I'm one of the invited attendees, and I will go into my email soon to um, to retrieve that invitation. You can also invite presenters. If you, this is a um, if you are providing this uh, platform and, and 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 hosting the event or the training, and you want to invite uh, another um, presenter, maybe somebody from the Department of Career Services or. A, a guest speaker, you can do that and you can invite them in and that will give the presenters uh, control over the session and that attendees would don't have, only the, the host and the people presenting do. Um, the other thing is a session options, as you can see, um, chat, poll, video, view, video thumbnails. There's plenty of bells and whistles to explore at a later date and time, but now I think it's really about just getting this off the ground. Um, Breakout sessions, 
I mean, this really, really goes deep. And, you know, once everybody gets their, their head around this, um, you're, I think it's going to be able to provide some, some great options to uh, training and presentation. And um, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a good product to use. So you can put the agenda here uh, under email options for when you, when you send, thing, send things out to the attendees. Uh, graphics, you can put it, import a picture. Um, course material, if, if you want them to prepare, if you want to send them a PDF, depending on what the nature of the course or the seminar. Um, you can do tests, you can actually create tests uh, for them um, and you know, again, this is all depends on the nature of the presentation. So we can go ahead and we can save this template. All right. And what we're going to do is we are going to start the session. All right. The session is going to start. Oh, password not allowed. Sorry. So let's uh, generate a new password. There we go. All right, so it needs something a little more complex. See, I'm getting used to this too. Uh, go ahead, start session. Here we go. And this is all starting to populate and come in. And right now we have no attendees. And here's the call-in session with the phone number that people can use. So I'm going to come over here to my other browser in Firefox and let me refresh my email. And there is my, my invitation to, to the uh, training session. I'll go ahead and open that. As you can see, it has my name. Mass Higher Metro North Center invites you to participate as an attendee in the following online training session, Career Center Seminar, and the host, uh, the Career Centers, the date, the time, the session number, and the session password. So to join the training session, I'm going to go to this link. And the session password is already in there. So... I'm just going to put in my name. It be at gmail. Actually, no, that's not right. It's such a J. Com. And we're going to join this. We get as you, oh, the information over here. Sorry, uh, the session has started. We're just going to assume it was 10, 15 a.m. It's three hours. The session number. Um, and we're going to go ahead and join. Just give it a second. And it is a little wonky because I am the host and I'm also a participant. But as you can see over here, uh, I am here. And but my my webcam is being used to record this session. So I know this wasn't a Fortune 500 production. My apologies. But this is just to kind of get you going to, you know, push you in the right direction to let you know that you can't break it sink your teeth into it and, um, you know, do some mock sessions. And, um, you know, I think, I think this will be, um, an, a successful venture for all, all the centers, um, yeah, providing virtual services. So I hope this uh, video was of help. Um, and thank you for watching.